Dean Dawn, the queen is dead, but your colonizing lives on. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, single honor to the elect. Peace and blessings to the winter, and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. I have some articles here. Explain people's discomfort and how they're not moved at the death of Queen Elizabeth. And you know, we live in a society where you have to be politically correct, so to say, but upon her death, not everyone was mourning. Actually, more people were actually celebrating or not even showing remorse for her death. And it's quite obvious because of the history of Britain, the history of America, and the history of the Vatican. Why did I mention those three? Well, we know that Isa Edom living today would be so-called white people. Whether you claim to be German, Russian, uh, uh, um, French, American, or whether you, whether you claim to be from the UK or from Australia, you still descended from Esau. But this is an article from Meow, <laughs> M-E-A-W-W-W dot com. We're going to read it verbatim. This is for educational purposes. Quote, the old bitch has died. Unquote. Argentinian TV host celebrates the queen's death on the air by popping champagne. Santiago uh, Cuneo's reaction might have been motivated by resentment for the 1982 British takeover of the Argentinian-controlled Falkland Islands. See, people haven't forgotten the history, right? An Argentinian TV host has triggered outrage when he went viral for celebrating Queen Elizabeth's death by popping champagne while on air. TV host Santiago Cuneo was also heard saying, quote, the old bitch has died, unquote. I'm only regurgit I'm only speaking verbatim what he's saying. Okay? Cuneo was midway through the live broadcast of his Buenos Aires based show when he received news of the Queen's demise, a video clip that has gone viral on social media shows Cuneo surrounded by blue and white balloons which represent the Argentinian flag. He is seen popping open a bottle of bubbly, clapping and promptly declaring, quote, the old bag of shit has died, unquote, which also flashed on the screen. Dang. Quote, she's done for good, unquote, he continued. Quote, loud applause for Satan, who has finally taken her, unquote. Well, we know all spirits go back to the father who gave it. But it just goes to show you the resentment they have. And Argentinians will be from the tribe of Naphtali, if I'm not mistaken. So they're Israelites. <laughs> Salute to him Scrolling over I have a couple more articles And I'm not going to read all these articles But I want you to get a, a, a glimpse of the world Or how they feel about it About her death This is from English.aawsat.com I cannot mourn Former colonies conflicted over the queen You hear this? You hear this? Upon taking the throne in 1952, Queen Elizabeth II inherited millions of subjects around the world, many of them unwilling. Today, in the British Empire's former colonies, her death brings complicated feelings, including anger. Mm-hmm. 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 Listen to this. In Kenya, where decades ago a young Elizabeth learned of her father's death and her enormous new role as queen, a lawyer named Alice Mugo shared online a photograph of a fading document from 1952. It was issued four years into the queen's reign and well into Britain's harsh response to Mawa Ma rebellion against colonial rule. Quote, movement permit, unquote, the document says. Document says, while over 100,000 kings was rounded up in camps under grim conditions, Others, like Mugo's grandmother, were forced to request British permission to go from place to place. Hmm. And you wonder why the world not mourning, but rather celebrating. Another article from TheCut.com. Quote, I won't cry over the death of a violent oppressor. Unquote. This is getting steamy, people. 
Mm-mm-mm. The news of Queen Elizabeth sec- of Queen Elizabeth's death have been met with public outpourings of grief commemorating her service as the longest reigning monarch in British history. But not everyone is in mourning. For many impacted by the, la- the lasting legacy of the British Empire, one marked by genocide, racism, and exploitation. Her death has been met with indifference, rage, and even celebration. Quote, I heard the chief monarch of a thieving, I'm going to say this word because it's in the article, raping, genocidal empire is finally dying. Unquote, Yuja Anya, an applied linguistics professor at Carnegie Milan, tweeted on Thursday, quote, May her pain be excruciating, unquote. Like Kevin said, he said, you can't make this up. It's how people really feel, man. Especially the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. You colonized the whole world. Don't get it wrong. But you put us into hardcore bondage. And this is an article from NewsHonest.com. It says, I'm going to read it verbatim. Black Twitter completely unbothered by Queen Elizabeth II's death. Jake is unbothered. Right? Now, the reason why I wanted to bring this one out too because a lot of people left Twitter um, little memes and things. And, I mean, to be honest, man, Jake Jay, Jay just don't care. Jake just don't care. Alright? Uh, a lot of ads. Ugh, I hate these freaking ads. Uh, right here. Let me just go right here real quick. The news, the queen has passed away. The queen has passed away. Black Twitter, Ireland, and Caribbean massive in every form of British colony. All right? Quote, remind there that Queen Elizabeth is not a remnant of colonial time. She was an active participant in colonialism. She actively tried to stop independence movements. Remember what I read about how... The one the Kenyan grandmother had to ask them for, to move, just to move, to go places. Wow. And she tried to keep newly independent colonies from leaving the Commonwealth. The evil she did was enough. All right. Another one. Reminder that Queen Elizabeth is not a remnant. Oh, this is it right here. I'm sorry. Boom. Check this out. From DW News, she was tortured with axes during Kenya's struggle for independence from British colonial rule. The Britain celebrates the platinum jubilee of his monarch. This old fighter wants to send her a message. Quote, let Elizabeth bring what belongs to me, unquote. Okay. Okay. Real talk. Real talk. She talking big. You took what wasn't yours. Princess Diana as soon as Queen Elizabeth arrives. <laughs> and, and she... she Allegedly, she took Diana out because she wouldn't marry. I think because she wanted to marry an Italian or something, if I'm not mistaken. Or some, some foreigner, quote unquote. Let's just say that. Suri. I don't feel bad for Queen Elizabeth at all, actually. She ruled over colonies guilt free. She defended her son who groomed children on Epstein's Island. She banned racial minorities from working for her until the late 60s. And she's generally a terrible person. Hmm. Africa Archives. Queen Elizabeth II owns the largest clear-cut diamond in the world, known as the Great Star of Africa. The 530-carat gem was mined in South Africa back in 1905. It was stolen from South Africa. It has an estimated worth of $400 million. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. And these are just little, little memes and reactions. But nonetheless, Dean Dawn, the witch is gone. <laughs> so I'm going to read a couple of presets and I'm going to close out. A lot of brothers been hitting this up. I actually have some in-depth information on um, Britain in another book. But I'm not going to go into that right now. Nonetheless, this is... um. Isaiah 47 and 1 through 3. The reason why I mention America, um, pretty much England, 
in Vatican because that's those are those are the three heads. When I say three heads, I'm not talking about Revelation, I'm just saying in general. The three heads of Esau's monster. The military is in DC. Their banking system is in England, and their religious sector is in the Vatican. That's how they control the world right now. Through religion, through military might, and through the monetary system. Right? So, this is Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. The virgin daughter of Babylon is America. Sit on the, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Here comes the point. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. What does that mean? You're going to be exposed for your wickedness. Exposed for the lies you hid. Exposed for your savagery. Yes. But why did it take upon her death for this to be spoken of? It's already been spoken of, but they just put it on the wraps. But now that she, she's gone, okay, why should we care? This is why we don't care. Because of what you have done and what you still continue to do to this day. Continuing. Thy shame shall be seen. Exactly. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. And that's when the Messiah returns. He will not meet thee as a man. And remember, America is the misty whore of Babylon. America is really the head of Esau's rulership because of their might. They live by the sword. Esau's blessing was what? To live by the sword. So the military might is in D.C. But nonetheless, the Lord is going to take your power and give it back to the rightful owners, which would be the Israelites. Sirach, or Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 4 and 8, and I'm going to close out. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Remember, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Verse 8, because of unrighteous dealings, your highness, <laughs> injuries, and riches got by deceit. Remember what I just read about that diamond? And much more, I'm talking about taking lands and peoples. Wow. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. So, though your inward thoughts is that your generation shall continue on forever, the Lord has a trick up his sleeve. So, with that being said, I pray y'all was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endear it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Put my Allah. Muslim of a ball. Shalom.